hello. How's everybody doing today? I slept in today. Yeah, there's a there's just a Dejin! Thank you for 28 months. 28 freaking months! Hi, Pizza Cat. Hi, Strange. Strange, thank you for the bitty as well. There's a low welcome in. Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing? Hi, Maddie. Playing Power Power World is very addictive, honestly. Hello. Hi, Tyler. Power World is a. It is something. Good morning. Good good time zone, friends. Good time zone. I slept in till about ten thirty. Technically, I could have, you know, gotten ready, but. You can't get me. I'm too tired to even react to anything. <laughs> Help you wake up. Yeah, I'm just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I needed some rest. I was really tired yesterday. I really wanted to take a nap, but I can't nap to save my life. Like, quite literally, you could, you would, you could be like, you literally need to take a, la a nap or like you will die and I couldn't do it. Thanks. This is, yeah, this is what we're going with today. I'm just existing right now, honestly. Um, yeah, so there's a, it looks kind of like a fishing spider on the ceiling hanging out with me today. He did startle me a little bit because I didn't realize he was there, and then I saw movement out of the corner of my eye. Um, so he's just hanging out with us today. What is a fishing spider? I don't want to show it on screen. Cause I know some people just have phobias of even yeah. Um, not all spiders make webs. Some spiders just hunt. I think also though, so yeah, definitely not a house spider. I used to be very good at identifying spiders, and I could even tell you if it was a male or female spider by looking at it. Doesn't look like a huge mosquito? No. No, it looks like a, like, I feel like a fishing spider looks very similar to, like, how you would just picture, like, a standard spider, I guess. It's probably done a whole day. Oh, no, literally. The man isn't even home. He's not even home right now. He's already walked the dog. He's already made breakfast. Um, He's done, like, he's probably played, like, three games or something this morning. And now he's at the store doing things with his life, right? Yeah, spiders hunt. There's a good majority of spiders that hunt. It doesn't really make sense for a lot of them to make webs. Webs are really for, like, your smaller spiders. A lot of your bigger spiders just hunt. My favorite spider is the trapdoor spider. They're my favorite. So does he don't bother me? Yeah, that's me. If he gets closer, I will get a little like, excusez-moi, which is why I'm letting you all know, just in case at some point you see me maybe getting a little anxious. <laughs> It's not a hunting spider, not to be not to be confused with a hunting spider because a hunting spider is a very particular type of spider. Or I guess it would be a huntsman spider, sorry. I hear have a whole it, it truly. Yeah, if they could do their things away from me. Yeah, so does it fish? They can. No painted that. They're my favorite. So fun fact. I fell in love with trapdoor spiders by accident, once upon a time. Um, and then I decided to make a whole presentation for my class. This is in the second grade. I made a whole presentation about trapdoor spiders because I love them so much. And I even, my mom helped me make like a little fake diagram type thing. And it was like a puppet. And I took it in a class and, and presented how much I loved them to the class. 
I did the same thing with Harry S. Truman. I got obsessed with Harry S. Truman <laughs> as a child. And I remember making a presentation to tell everyone how much I loved Harry S. Truman. <sighs> yeah, you can tell it's a fishing spider by its rod and reel, truly. Will be a black fluffy tarantula with puppy fur? Oh my god, I loved it. Did a whole presentation on a horse? Yeah, right? Yeah, truly. No, anytime I look back, I'm like, so here's the thing. I know that I was my mother's only child, right? But there are many times when I look back and I'm like, how did no one get me tested for like literally anything? So many signs looking back. On like the ADHD and just Great. like anxiety and all this stuff. Ooh. So many signs. Hi, MK. Right, hello. Two, P. 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 It's Papa's party. P. 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 It's a Papa's party. Woo! <laughs> My mom was like, "Twins, medicate them." <laughs> Bit by a recluse, so the spider fear in our home. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a guy on YouTube who actually willingly goes out into the wild and gets bit by very poisonous uh, insects to show... Part of it is to show that, like, a lot of the times what happens is you get bit and it's not necessarily the poison that's the problem it's how the doctors treat it or how they diagnose it in the long run um like he's been trying to do like this educational system kind of deal that's like it's not necessarily like the the insect itself it's like our treatment needs to be better of those things Yeah, how did we not see the signs? But you know, when you when your parents don't know what they're looking for. Anyway, I will stop talking about spiders in case there are people who are genuinely terrified of spiders here today. So, I love them, but I know most people do not. Let's go, strange! Lovely. What are you, are you gonna buy Taco Bell? That's what I would buy. And they were like, nope, you gotta look. Oh my god. You just ate Taco You know, I told Brian yesterday, I was like, do you want something to eat? I really want Taco Bell. And then I ended up, I ended up surprising him with one of our favorite local foods instead. But now I'm like, but I didn't get Taco Bell. So now I'm like, I still gotta get Taco Bell. Will God can kill or change your life? Um, that's a that's a big question. Um, I would say it's not okay. God killer is life changing in that it's a very refreshing fantasy read, and many things will not compare after. Like, you're gonna want more of it, and the problem is, is that there aren't more, more books like it. Did this stop me? No, well, I just need you guys to know that we got a spider friend with us today! Not a fantasy reader, I love God Killer. I think God Killer is a fantastic- I think it is a very good- I want to say even beginner fantasy to some degree, but I think long, well, obviously long time fantasy lovers will also enjoy it. It's got a nice world system, but it's not like overly complicated and it like kind of eases you into a lot of the, the aspects of the world. Y'all, I feel like I'm looking rough today. I'm feeling rough. I'm looking rough. I am going to. Hang on. We got to pull out the, the timer and the to-do list. I don't want my to-do. Um, 
I think we're gonna move the to do over here. We're gonna make it itty bitty over here. Maybe? No. No, we'll put we'll keep it. Oh my god, wait, why are there two? Why are there two? I'll just move me over. Looking rough. It's a nice intro to high fantasy, yeah. It's very refreshing. It's been so long since I've read a fantasy that it doesn't feel overdone. Yeah. Local Brewery had an adult book fair. Oh my god, I love that! Yeah, well, there's an ocean between us. So you don't have to worry about it. Brian, are you home? There's a spider. Right there. I just want to let you know. <laughs> just in case you hear me scream at some point. Don't, don't, don't you dare. You don't, you squish him. He's just living his life. You want to put him in a jar or a cup? Here's my Taco Bell cup. What? There might be some alcohol in there for him. <laughs> my Taco Bell cup. Thank you. I couldn't have reached that. <laughs> Knocked my whole monitor sideways. Oh my god, I thought you opened the cup onto my foot. <laughs> Hi, Morley! Hello! Just a little guy, living his life. Yeah, we're transporting him. Local indie bookstore from the town? Ooh, he is most likely out. No, he is not. No, he is not! Thank you, this is my merch! This is one of my merch shirts. You can recycle that cup. Why can't you? I do it work all the time. Sure, Jan. Sure, Janet. I, yeah, you should. Actually, I have. I need to make a big to do list here today. So, the only thing is, is I don't know what I want. Actually, I do know what I want to start with. Task clean desk. I wish that I had a good way to show you all just how fucking messy my desk is by Sunday every week. First of all, eyelashes, just, you know, wherever. Cans on cans on cans. Oh, we just- Tyler distributed so much democracy yesterday, and then we were distributing more democracy last night. Okay, and then task later? Is that how I have to do it? Right? Task later? Burned out. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jamie. Love to- absolutely. Absha freaking lootly Task later? Etsy stuff. Okay, later Etsy is something. That's not what I- hang on. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. <laughs> um, later Etsy stuff you know sometimes it just takes a minute you know there we go and then later what else was i gonna do i had a whole list oh make video live that took three fucking days to up update or upload Maddie, you're reading Bride? I feel like I could have told you that you were going to hate it. <laughs> like, I feel like I could have told you that. Oh, a date? Bought it for you? Oh my god. Wait, that's kind of cute, but also... 
how did they why did they get you bride of all books that's a like that's an interesting choice I didn't even know it was a series. Oh, okay. You requested the book. Sorry. I just thought that they were just like, oh my God, happy birthday. Here's a book that I got for you. You requested. Okay. Yeah. What, Bride's going to be a series? That's a choice. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, are you D and in today? I miss D and D. I miss it. Oh, maybe I'll do some whitening strips uh, later. Whiten teeth. I don't think I spelled that right. Whatever. I think that's a good start. So now I can go now one. Cool. Cool. All right. I am eager to start doing things today. So we are going to do our word games. We're going to go ahead and do our word games. Get our dailies going. Oh my God, I have the burps. Excuse me. Another one. Another one. Also, Marley, thank you for the follow here on the Twitcheroo. Another one that was okay, but not continuing. I have Butcher and Blackbird to read. I'm tired. Me too. I'm also tired. I'm also... Oh, is it only a standalone? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point they even were like, no, it's going to be a series, you know? Like, honestly, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't be surprised. Great Eared Nightjar? A baby dragon bird? Oh, like, that's a real animal? That's like, um, oh my god, I'm obsessed with lizards as well. I, I just like bugs and, and critters and all the things. And I love lizards and whatnot. And they're the gargoyle gecko. I want a gargoyle gecko so bad. I think they're so freaking cute. Okay, I'm working on it. So there was a twitch. Oh my god. Well, welcome in. Gargoyle Gecko. Oh my god. Oh wait, I have seen these. They're adorable. Look at that. Look at that handsome. Look at that handsome face. Hi, Nala. This isn't a lizard. This is a bird. <laughs> This is a bird. Sorry. This is the gray eared night jar. But then, gargoyle gecko. Look at these little guys. They're like little alligator looking things. Look at these guys. Oh my god, I love them. I want one so bad. And lizards on the back. Yeah, I loved him. I'm trying to think. There is one that does look like a mini dragon. I can't think of what it's called, though. Dragon ass looking gecko. Oh, red eye, red eye crocodile skink. That's right. But these ones, like, they really do. Dragon ass looking gecko. Yeah. It's fucking adorable. It's a skink. I forgot about that. Hang on. Red eye 
crocodile skink. Oh, look at the babies! Oh my goodness, look at them! Oh, I just want to boop them. I don't know much care about skinks, though. I feel like skinks are a little more higher maintenance. I mean, all reptiles are higher maintenance. If you are not ready to give full-time care to a reptile, do not get one. They require a lot. A lot of supervision as well, because so many things can go wrong. Um, I feel like skinks need more care, but oh my god, just look! Look how gorgeous! They're just so cute! Oh, look, we can get a 3D printed version. Great. To geckos? I just would have thought that they would have had a bit... a bit more care. I mean, geckos are a lot of care. I don't think people realize how much care geckos are. I would say bearded dragons are, like, the least care-intensive of reptiles, and they are still fucking a lot of work. He looks like he could fuck up Geico Gecko. I would love to see it. I would love, I love geckos so much. Of course, like everyone knows the leopard gecko, which is kind of like the most standard. <laughs> Look at this little face. I do love me a leopard gecko. Oh my god. Oh yeah, chameleons are big intensive care. They're pretty they're pretty high on the care list. I just love them. There's a leopard gecko. <gasps> Santanic leaf-tailed gecko. Hold up. Hold up. San <laughs> Tanic <laughs> Leaf-tailed gecko. I do love a crested gecko. Stop! <gasps> Go away, video! I need to look at this guy! Santanic! It's fucking adorable! I love that someone just was like photoshopped wings on one. Oh my god, stop! Wait. <laughs> yeah, Santanic. 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 It's like the Titanic, but make it Satan. <laughs> I need y'all to stop coming for me every time I say weird things, okay? <laughs> Santanic, yeah. Okay, listen. Everyone fuck off. <laughs> Satan it! <laughs> that also... Nope. Nope. It doesn't... I can't do it. Here's the thing. I... When words have like a hard crisp end to them, I need something in the middle <laughs> to break it up. <laughs> or this is what happens. <laughs> Satanic. That's a that's a hard crispy. K Sat Santanic. It's Santanic. Okay, it's Santanic to me, and y'all gonna have to deal. You knew what I meant. Santanic. 
Just saying. Crispy. <laughs> I know I did not. <laughs> Satanic? That's not right. Say, say. I can't do it now. I can't even remove the sand. I can't even do it. Santanic. Satanic. I can't do it. I can't do it. My mouth now refuses. Muscle memory has taken over. It's now just Santanic. The lore says it's Santanic now. Oh, yeah, I've watched this guy before. I mean, these guys are pretty cute. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Oh, they can come in teal. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a nice. That's a nice little guy right there. Oh, he's so pretty. A Santa looking guy. <laughs> Santa. No. That's. You know the worst part is I was gonna say that's Satanic. Because Saint Nick. Saint Nick. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming. I'm I'm just gonna go back to bed and i'm never going to leave it again okay thanks everyone bye <laughs> i forgot we were doing word games already oh my god okay anyway we're just gonna pretend like i i can speak things I'm not very good at speaking things, as we know. I'm much better at reading things in my head. We are... Yeah, we're Santanic worshippers, but not... Not the other way. <laughs> I don't even want to say it. I'm done saying the words. We're shinners. We're worship shirts. Worship, worship shirt. <laughs> Literally, just me saying. Worship, worship shire, worship shire. I'm gonna. Scrub my name from the internet. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna come back Pretend none of this ever happened today Just saying Oh Tan I don't know if oh like oh you can tan at a salon. I see no nope Okay, tan, beige, camel, khaki. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, wow. Wow, Nightbot. I got the link. The worship center, the worship center, Santanic worshippers, worship center. I still don't. Hang on, hang on. How do you say? Is it Satanic? Satanic, but that's like Satanic. 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 I have to add the N in there. It's gonna happen. I can't undo it. Satanic. 
Satanic. I think it's because when I, I feel like I have to, like my accent throws me off. Okay, anyway, okay, you skip, you miss, you ditch, you romp? Oh no, you cut, you cut, you cut class, you ditch class, you miss class, you skip class. So then, cheese wheel, hamster wheel, prayer wheel? Color wheel. Hi, Friday. Prayer wheel? There we go. Romp, blowout, sweep, route. I don't know, Maddie. We're 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 too Santanic around here. <laughs> okay, I was not ever. That is not ever what I would have thought. But I get it now. It, the game was a blowout. The game it was a sweep. I get it now. Rating and tooting Santanic warp shinners. Truly. We are some san Santanic warship shirts. Okay. Connexo. Beauty Lando hand girdle. Mace idol dream sash. Mono, Obi, Belt, Get em, Boba, Pie, Cumberbund, and Fam. I mean, there's Obi and Han. That's all I got. Lando. Where's Lando? Yeah, no. Pater? You got you some Pater? Belt. Kimono. Sash. Uh, fam? Like accessories? Belt. Sash. Cumberbund. <coughs> and a girdle. Nice. Um, we did. So I don't think we did it with Lance, though. Did it? Did we? Or with Mace? Girdle is like, um, kind of like a corset in a way, and it's meant to like suck your body all up into an uncomfortable position. Gosh, bangs! I thought it was like a, I thought it was like a, a um, corset, right? Oh yeah, when you type it in, it just shows, like, shapewear. Yeah. Probably let's hop in, pull up a... Okay, Um... I love that we're just trying a variety of different things to make it work for this. Nice. Like man wipes? Yeah, but I think 
Yeah, when I looked it up, there was no men. <laughs> I always, I think I guess I always pictured like a very stiff, like, historical. Sour punch bites. Kimono. Oh yeah, let's do beauty idol. Fan dream. For this? Pie? Like American Pie, American Beauty, American Idol, American Dream. Nice. I got it. I got it. Hi, Chloe. We were so close. We were so close so many times. So close. All right. Oh, shit. That's not what I want to do. You know what? The lizard. Spider. Pie. Clearly, I should not play this game today. I'm typing in the wrong place. I'm putting it in chat. Email. Jumbo! Pizza cat. Tree. Ooh! Branch. No, leaf. Ooh, even worse. Spring. Oh, wait about like a flower. Wrong. Family? Bird. Plant. Forest? Park? Season? Sw like a swing? No. Climb? Squirrel? Root? Wood? Winter. Logger. Axe. Fire? Nature. Outside? Mother? Like, no. Uh, okay. What about like a zoo? No, wow, wrong. Animal spring. I think. Oh, I thought we did spring. Um. Hmm. What about like a walk? <gasps> a hike? A trail? Um. A path? Some music. So fast. Listen, I normally feel like I don't play the game. I just throw in whatever you guys say. So when I get the chance to play. Wow. Oh, what did I just hit? That's not what I wanted to hit. We're so smart. Oh my god, we're so smart. All right. I don't know how many pomos we're going to do today, so I guess I'll put it three. Pomo three when I get it. 
I feel like I didn't get there in time. I didn't get there in time. Let's do, I like to do 30 minutes for our, our productivity. 30 minutes feels like a lot, a lot to do things, you know, without a break. Okay. You're a god killer, oh my god. Listen, this is just like a god killer stream now again. Just saying. All right. 30 minutes. I will see you all in 30 minutes. Okay, bye.
It's like my Uncle Kagi once said, with great power comes great big booty bitches. Just kidding. I was like, I'm turning desktop audio off. <laughs> I didn't realize the sprint was over. <laughs> Cause I have to watch my video back before I post it. Anyway, I feel like I got a lot done. 
I'll clean my desk. This is the best that I can do. I really, so my problem is, is that I don't mind my PC on my desk, but it feels like it just takes up so much room. Brian is ordering pizza for lunch. Very excited. I kind of want to get all my stuff done so I can read, but also I kind of want to do Fortnite stuff. What if I'm thinking, okay, wait, 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 I got an idea. What if, let's say I duplicate this, right? I duplicate this. And then we go here, and then on this screen, I go... I don't actually need the book that I'm reading. Instead, I move my camera here. Right, right, right. Make it bigger. Wait, does this crop it, though? Oh, it does. That's annoying. I feel like you can't tell that much, though. And then, like, I put my game... I'll put, like, my game here. For the, for a sprint when I have, like, a game running. Slept over chicky nuggets. That sounds so good. That's almost what we had today. But... I ate them all yesterday. I said I'm gonna have some leftover chicky nuggies left. And I sure did not. I ate them all. Also, hi, Keisha! I think Sam came in, too. Hi, Sam! Hi, Keisha! My eyebrow is peeling... Lasagna? I feel like that's a good lunch. I don't... I don't like lasagna. I feel like the only person in the world. Yeah, I was fucking with the mic as well during that, so... It's probably gonna be acting funny. As well. Bookish and the Beast? <gasps> don't tell Tyler? Okay, well... Hey, let's not... Okay! I don't like red sauce. So, like, I don't like spaghetti. I don't like lasagna. What else comes in, like, a red sauce? <gasps> Chicken skewers! That sounds good! Hi, Mariah! What's going on? What's happening? What's going on? What you doing? I like pizza if it's mostly cheese. I don't... Yeah, I tend to not like... I mean, I like pizza. I love pizza. But I like a lot of pizzas that aren't like your basic pizza. Like, I'll eat pepperoni and cheese because... Sure, I guess. I don't really care for pepperonis. But... Normally, I would, I like, like, I like buffalo chicken pizza a lot, and I like, uh, any of, like, your white sauce. Everyone always thinks I'm crazy? No, I hate red sauce. Very much enjoy, uh, spaghetti, I was gonna say, like, 90% of the people that I meet are, like, spaghetti is my favorite food. I like tomato. I love tomatoes. I will eat. I love cherry tomatoes. I just eat those all the time. Like I just eat them as snacks. I will fucking love tomatoes. I hate tomato sauce and I hate tomato um, juice. Big second place finish in in Fortnite. So I always have to get pasta with no sauce or white sauce? Yum. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like a lot of people get heartburn from red sauce. We do have Domino's. That's actually what we're ordering. <laughs> Switch a little bit. Thought I screen you screenshotted it? Oh. Uh, go back in your... No, look. Uh, Fortnite should save it. They'll save, like, the last, like, 10 or 20 things that you do, and you can go back and watch a replay. And do it that way. 
Fortnite saves, like the last like t 10 or 20 games that you play. I can't remember the exact number. And you can go back and re-watch your game. And you can watch it from anyone's point of view. You can watch it from weird points of views. Fortnite does. Hold up. Hang on, let me open Fortnite. Did you all not know this? Yeah, and it will even tell you, like, where you placed during that and everything. Hold up, hold up. Oh, look, this is a great time to try this. Yeah, career replays. This is a great time to try this. So, hot pizza? We have buffalo pizza. I don't... No, that doesn't sound familiar to me. The way that you, though, the thing that you were saying and describing isn't quite there <laughs> for what I'm picturing. <gasps> you know what I should do? I should add pickles to our pizza when it comes. Okay, so like here's Fortnite. Oh, it's blurry. I forgot about that. Forgot it. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's all so massive. Holy shit. Sorry, one moment. Yeah. Yeah, Fortnite will save it. And then I think it's saved on their server. Like, I don't think it's necessarily saved on your computer. I want to say it's saved on like a server. Like, something like that, uh, I guess. Oh, they're unsaved, but okay, yeah, I see. We have a piece called American Hot? Oh, interesting. Yeah, so... Is this not gonna work? Why are you no work? Okay, one moment. One moment. I'll just do it this way. I don't know why it won't, it won't load. So, okay. So, yeah. You have, you have your Fortnite. You go to career. You go to replays. Five out of date replays were found. Sure. Anyway, and then it will show you, you know. We finished two out of 98, 70 limbs. And when you go to watch it, you can watch it from any anything. So now everybody knows. In the in the dub ba da. How it works. Yeah, I um I know a lot of uh like I guess more serious players who will use it a lot of the times to see like where a shot went wrong because you can like really slow it down and see where a shot hit someone. And like they'll go back and watch where like where a shot went wrong, basically. Is there anything good in the shop? I think I got the only things good in the shop. Oops. 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 Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. Time to get that time to get down to business. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? Oh, make video live. So at the beginning of the sprint, I'm gonna have desktop audio turned off until I watch the video through, make sure it all looks good. And then I'll turn desktop audio back on. Um, so there will be no alerts during that time. There'll be no music, but it'll all come back after that. Just, I don't want anyone to be startled when it comes back on. Call of Duty? I was gonna say, they probably do. I think it's pretty common in a lot of your shooter games to have something like that. I know, like, Overwatch has it. Um... That's apparently the only other game that I play. Like that. Oh my god, I love that the cloud over here looks like my arm. Perfect alignment happening here right now. Anyway. Hi, Sam. Alright, let's sprinty sprue. I will see you all in 30 minutes. I almost just typed 30. Snap, yeah, Thanos snap, just the arm, just the arm right there. 30 minutes, I'll see you all then. Okay, boy.
I'm here! I swear I'm here! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that doesn't turn off. Um. Well, this is awkward. This is awkward. How do I... How do I toggle this shit? Okay, anyway. I'm sorry, I went to grab food. Not realizing we were at the end. I got pizza! Um, new video live. I don't love the thumbnail. I really want to come, I like, would love to come up with a new thumbnail system. Like, style. I don't love my thumbnails. For the most part. Yeah, get good, Tyler. Get good. I've thought about doing like a sur a survey about like some of the best thumbnails that I've done and also like ones that people think like ones they're really drawn to as well. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like okay, I'm gonna share hang on, we're gonna go back. We've done this before, but we're gonna do it again. I had an era of like. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you for 10 freaking months! Would you like to celebrate? What? Oh, you. Okay. Would like to celebrate Snaggy and a Funko Pop special edition. Awesome! Amazing! With a little paper? Oh yeah, the um, the reading sprints ones, I've kept those pretty similar. Like when you go to the lives, yeah, I've kept those. I like those. I've done them this way. These ones seem to get a bit more engagement over these ones. Which is interesting. But I do like this style for my lives. Oh my god, what a look. Who was she? She was so cute. Anyway! Uh, I think my favorite thumbnails... I'm gonna go through and show you my favorite thumbnails. My favorite thumbnails have been... Boop, boop, boop. This one, I like this one. I like, I'm a sucker for a simple thumbnail. I'm a sucker. I like this one. This one, I felt like it was a good one. Um... I like this one with the little books in the back. I'm still muted? Anyway. Um. Boop 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 boop. Boop 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 boop. I like. I'm trying. Oh, I like these ones. This one I like. This one is a good one. I like that one. I love this plan with me thumbnail. Hang on, let me move this over. And make it smaller so we can actually see what the friggity frag we're looking at. Love this plan with me, one. The shark one with the stream, the stream highlights. This one, that's a good one. <laughs> you know it's crazy when there's two hours worth of stream highlights, by the way. 
But I mean, it was a 24 hour. Um, once upon a time, I used to have like a, a like I basically it was like a drag and drop system. This one was a good one. Very simple. I love this video. Love this video. I didn't talk at all in it. Loved it. Ah, uh, Pokemon Collection one. That's a good one. If you want some ASMR. Oh, maybe it was this one. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't this one. It was this one. The item showcase. Just hold up a cat! I'm trying to find- there was one where I like ate. I ate- I was doing like so good. I love this one. I think it's just because it's bright and it pops. Love this one. These ones, this, this, these ones right here, this row. The white outline on you over background, yeah. I, I, do, I try to do some sort of outline because it always makes you... Lally singing Fletcher's new album, I love that. Blonde hair, white outline, and icon was born. It was also like I was kind of messing around with this like collagey kind of look at this time. And this was just this was it. Oh my god, my first my first gaming video. <laughs> I left a dreamy behind villager hunting. This was a I think this was a VOD that I edited and it got copyright striked because I used the Hunger Games tribute song. And I got a copyright on it. Truly upsetting. I had to go in and like re-mute it and add something else to it. It was really sad. Who did I leave behind? I'm trying to remember. Who did I leave behind? You know what? Hang on. We'll open it up in a sec. We'll, let's open it real quick. All right, guys. Hello. Oh, listen to that. Oh, I wasn't. I didn't even stream yet. I wasn't even a streamer. I just recorded myself doing this. This is way back when. Wow, look at- look at her. Yep, we're gonna blame Katniss for this. I- who did I leave behind? I wanna say it was... I can't think of his name. He's like the little... I think I took... Pecan. It's like a- the little hamster, but he's like got the fancy outfit. But it's just, I'm just a baby. Just a baby. I have no clue now. Definitely not that guy. Definitely not that guy. Not Pippi. Oh shit, what the fuck did I just press? I'm pretty sure I took Pecan home with me. You know, actually, I want to say it might have been on the very first one, because I was like, well, fuck. Before she became a meemaw. I'm, I'm sad, too. Hi, Gumi! I loved Animal Crossing so, so fucking much. I loved it so much. I want to say it was probably on my first three eyes. Oh! Right there, right there it is. I knew it. That's the face of someone who's upset. It's a it's a bunny. I love all the bunnies. I would love to have a bunny island. Cole. It was Cole. 
I was gonna say, there is a time that I did a dreamy hunt. Or no, I was looking for a very particular villager and I left a dreamy on a stream as well. But Cole was one of my favorites. This is a very upset person right here. Very upset. I love that I did not give a flying fuck about anything that was happening behind me. Just a whole fucking ring light behind me. Why didn't I take her? I think because she was literally the third person I came across. And I was like... I need to do a- I need to do a villager hunt, but I've only come across three people! And I was like, well... We gotta keep going. I gamble- No, I ended up getting Pecan, though! And that worked out! Cause I think she's still on my island to this day. Should I open up Animal Crossings at some point? <laughs> anyway. I love that I'm just like, we're going back and looking at... This was my experimental era. I was experimenting with a lot of color. Oh yeah, this is recommending books to my Animal Crossing villagers. That was a fun one. Hi, TM! This is Middle Alley. You know how long I've been on the internet? This is Middle Alley. Uh, this is, this was my Animal Crossing journal. I got featured in Polygon, or on Polygon's website, for my Animal Crossing journal. In case anyone wanted to know. They messaged me and they were like, can we do an interview? And I was like, yeah. So I ended up making this Animal Crossing and then I did, um... This was my map. I did a dreamy page. A celebrity even, right? This was one of my dreamy pages at the time. I didn't film my station my stationary pal haul. No, it took <gasps> look a wild Ajax. Look at that little belly. Look at that belly. This is my yeah, this is one of my dreamy. I do have to buy more, honestly. There's actually another stationary site that I came across. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I need to do an order from it. Oh, this is my my critters page. So basically, I made this these these things in Canva, and it had all the insects and all the fish, and it had where you could find them and the time of day. And then I had my cricket cut them all, and then you can mark. Yeah, this was all with a normal printer. This was during lockdown. This was in the middle of lockdown. We had nowhere to go. Yes. I made an unofficial guide. Yeah. I will say I think there's three three of the three of the fish that I think I have wrong. Because I think the guides that I pulled them from at the time had them wrong. I also tried to hand draw the flowers and I regret that because I hated it. I hated the hand drawn flowers that I did. Oh, this is one of my favorite pages. Okay, okay. I took sandwich bags and I made these little, these little, uh, these like windows. Ajax is a ham. He is truly just the cutest little ham. Look at him. And I made these little window thingies and basically I put all of my. <laughs> They're my favorite pencils! They're the only pencils I use. I've used them for the past 10 years. Um, But I basically made it so I can constantly swap out which villagers I have. <laughs> this is- I'm just used to it, <laughs> you know? Just used to it. So basically, I made these like little window thingies, and then I could constantly switch out which villager, the current villagers that I had. I thought I was, a, I thought I was an absolute fucking genius for this, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
He's so, he's such a cutie. Oh yeah, this is when I hand drew all the flowers and I hated it. He's still there. Really need to learn how to use my cricket. Do you still have, I do still have the journal. Originally, the idea was that I would I originally journaled every day. I played Animal Crossing's every day and I originally was journaling like every day. And the idea was that I would see how far I came along. And it just didn't work out that way because, of course, I got burnt out because I was doing it literally all the time. I had, like, what my island, like, originally looked like. I had, like, a daily to-do list. Um... I was printing out all these. I had a, f I have a, f I have a secret Twitter because you could post, you could save the images from your Nintendo and then upload them to, to Twitter directly from your Switch. And so I have a secret Twitter where I was just uploading these photos to my secret Twitter for me to steal from myself. Secret Twitter! Yeah, so this was like what my house looked like at the beginning. Things like that. This was my first rock island and I had to like... I had to write down the moment I got my first rock island. Like so many little things. It was like this was the first time it rained on my island. <laughs> when me and Lucky were enjoying our breakfast together. <laughs> This was the ultimate serotonin. No, no, you, this was my first, this was my first game, by the way. That's Gavin! This was my first game. So we went into, we were, we found out from work. They said, um, we're, we're going to have you off work for a week, originally. This was before, like, the official lockdown went into place. And a day before that, I was looking for a Nintendo Switch. And, like, no one had one. And I was like, I don't know. This was literally, like, the day before Animal Crossing came out. <laughs> Ellie, thank you for nine months! Uh, so I actually had a friend who was like, I have a Switch, I'm not using it anymore. So I bought it off of him. The next day, Animal Crossing came out. And then the day after that, we basically were told, you're now gonna be home for two weeks. Which we all know turned into, like, Hello? for me, it was four months. Two weeks turned into four months. So I got basic. Yeah, I just got it's a used one. At this point, it doesn't it doesn't work as well as it probably could. I'm so thankful too. Like this was my saving grace. As you can tell, like this was a hyperfixation for those I played consistently for I guess a year. Cuz even when we went back to work after 4 months um, we were only going to work for three hours at a time, and we were all doing individual shifts. So even then, I was like, I still had so much other time. I think this was honestly, I, this sounds terrible. I think I was the happy, I was the happiest in lockdown. In my life, because... I got to be at home and do the things that, like, I wanted to do. It was a very, like, refreshing time for me to just be home doing those things, you know? Oh, here's a quick... Here, this was me journaling. You have that journal! It's a good one. I like it. The pages are pretty thin, but I like it. Well, that's the thing, though, Nala. In the long run, it ruined 
everything else for me. I think it's a great reason why I haven't been happy since is because I lost every, every habit in my life. Oh, I'm sure that was rough. That it would just been like, ha have free time. No, for me, it was like, oh my God, I can finally like, because at that point I had been working nonstop basically for like 10 years. And it was a chance for me to like relax after just 10 years of like 16 hour shifts working every day. Hi, Katie! Here's my cue. It's funny because I would not say these are necessarily all my dreamies now. Once I played the game more, this was like not very long into playing the game. And I would say these are not my dreamies as much anymore. Lucky will forever and always be my favorite though. Lucky and Coco always. Not sitting and acknowledge, yeah. It's gonna get Starbies for sprints, and then I said, you know what? I slept in today, so uh, my stream started late too. Kept out of the public. Yeah, we technically, we weren't closed, so to say. We still had work that we did at home, but it wasn't nearly as much. It was like an hour a day for a while. Um, I ended up getting pulled in to do extra work during that time. And swiftly deleted it? Wait, there's too much stuff to do all the time? Oh, that's fair. I just... I want another Animal Crossing game so bad. My job never closed? Oh my god, that is wild. I So Pocket Camp... I played Pocket Camp before I played... New Horizons. And it was the reason that I was in, interested in New Horizons at the time. Because I dabbled in Pocket Camp. I... But then I don't think I would have... I honestly don't think I would have liked the previous Animal Crossing games. I think what I liked about New Horizons is that it's not as... I don't have to worry about upsetting a villager or them leaving because I haven't been there or like it doesn't have the same structure. I know a lot of people said that like it didn't feel as personal with the characters and like there are other things. But I think I liked that it was kind of like a loosey-goosey version of Animal Crossing. You get stuff with bells and then everything. Oh... They show what the items are like. They did. Yeah, I would. I am upset. I feel like they could have done so many DLCs. And what about all of them? So, anyway, I love that that's what this turned into. I'm just trying to show you my cute thumbnails. Oh, these. Okay, this is probably my favorite thumbnail of all time. These two right here, my like favorites of all time. Do you kind of wish my villagers would roast me more, right? Groups and group chats to... Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, I had a, a whole group. There was like five of us. And we would just do all the... All the... Animal Crossing stuff. I like this one. Oh, this is, though, to be fair, this is when I had rainbow shelves, and maybe that's when I started going wrong. Maybe I should just bring the rainbow shelves back. Oh, uh, four years ago. Look how short my hair was. This is my hair. Look how short it was. came around oh my god it was so good 
You think rainbow shells are tacky? I think you're tacky. Tacky of tea. <laughs> anyway. Oh, look at me as a little fae. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is when I started Once Upon a Time. Oh, wow, they're all, like, they're all hidden now. I forgot I hid so many of my videos. My really old videos. Oh my god, wait, who asked about Tag Tuesday and I never described? Was it Pizza Cat asked what Tag Tuesday was yesterday and I just never described it? Forgot all about it. Yeah, T doesn't like God Killer, so, like, can we, can T be trusted? Here's the thing, rainbow shelves have to be done a certain way, and you have to have enough... You have to have a- you have to have a shit ton of books to do rainbow shelves good. Railer, okay, so once upon a time, a really big part of booktube was doing tag videos. And how tag videos worked is that there was a list of questions, they would all have different themes around them. And basically, you would get these questions and then you would like answer with a book, so to say. This was like the big thing to do. So I started doing, I upload a tag video every single Tuesday and I called it Tag Tuesday. I don't know if I was like the originator of Tag Tuesday. Part of me wants to say yes, but it's been so long that I don't want to like confidently say that and like fuck that up. But that's where a lot of my channel growth came from because I was consistently uploading these. They're sh they were relatively short. They were le like 10 minute videos. And it was nice because you would watch other people answer these questions. And it was one of those things where it's like, I know as a viewer where, you know how like you're watching someone they're answering questions and in your head, you're answering the questions and you're like, well, if I was an influencer, this is what I would say. And I feel like a lot of people related to that because then one, a lot of times they would agree with you possibly on your answers, but also like a lot of people just like to watch it in order to like follow along. I would love to bring it back. The thing is, is that tags have kind of like died. Mike is being weird. I don't know what to do about it. A lot of tag videos now. I've seen kind of like similar. They're just not called tags anymore. Once upon a time, I used to have a different color for each month and that all my thumbnails would be that color. Anyway, this is one of my first big videos. I read all the Goodreads winners. Pinteresting desserts for books, in case anyone's ever wanted to see the only other time that I've cooked in a video. Um, so if I go, I wonder if I have any tags that are live, actually. Hang on. Let's find out. Tag. Revisiting the I never book tag, let it snow book tag. Oh, this one's still pretty, pretty big. The mid year tag. Animal Crossing personality book tag. I love that. Said so that people stopped doing it. Maybe I'll bring it back. It's definitely me. I don't know what's good, what it's doing today. A tag? So the idea of why it was called a tag is because you would... After you finished answering these questions, you would tag someone else to do it. I never tagged anyone. <laughs> that was too much fucking effort. Yeah. So then that person was supposed to then make the video as well. Yeah. The tag is just book scavenged to read and it's God Killer every time, truly. So like, okay. This is... Oh, we going way back. Oh my God, we're going... How old is this fucking video? 
four years ago. Oh my god, look how <laughs> I had like no plants. I feel like I had just moved in or something. To everyone was like, tag whoever wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to do the tag, just do it, right? Yeah. Getting into book two, but I've definitely seen other. Yeah. It was like tag yourself. I think that's kind of where it originated too. A lot of booktubers originally came from book Tumblr. That's where I came from. I had like a following of 5,000 on book Tumblr before I ever moved to booktube. So basically what you would do is that there, I don't know who generated this, but th there would be questions. So the questions, a book that made you go nope, either in denial, rage, or simply because, and then you would answer these questions. Book tumblers, truly. Mine still exists. Actually, I wonder if I have it. I probably have it down here. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Wow, she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Clearly, it wasn't so... Oh, well, and look, if we were villains, right there it is. Yeah, Goodreads integration! This is 2021 resources. <laughs> With one thing. I think I had a... T what? How did you have to do this tagged mine? Oop, that's not right. Tagged mine? Did I have it listed as mine? How do I see my tags? Oh, but then my archive, right? And then you could do this, and I think I have it tagged as like my library. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at these baby rainbow shelves that I had. Beautiful. Wow, T says this is tacky, by the way. Sure, Janet. Sure. Mm. Mm mm mm. Baby Ajax. Hang on. I'm going back. I'm seeing what all we got here. <clears throat> Goodness. I used to be really into this, like, really bright look. Hey, do you agree with you? Well, you can't. This is gorgeous. I don't care what you say. This is gorgeous. This is, although, by height. Mwah. Oh, how the tables, turntables. I love a good by height. 300 fox way, who knows it? Three hundred fox way. <laughs> Thirty-two wallaby. Three hundred fox way. 
Has no one read the Raven Cycle series? This blew my mind, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Right? Okay, well, blue, thank you. Nikki knows blue. You, there we go. And look at this baby. Look at that baby. All right, I'm sorry. We, we did quite the, we really did quite the, um, we did, we did things there. But yes, it was my own apartment! Indeed. Something about flooding? No, okay, so... Nala, thank you so much for seven months! My old apartment, it wasn't in a basement, um, but it didn't have any windows. I was in the middle of the building. There was no windows to be found in my apartment. And um, it leaked really bad. And I came home one day, and my ceiling had collapsed. Not a fire code violation, because there were plenty door. There were plenty of exits. Yeah. So then I was like, "Why did the music stop?" From your room to outside, yeah. There was tons of doors. There was, like, six exit doors. Like, this place had so many fucking doors. That's why I always thought it was basement. Yeah, like, I feel like I probably called it that because there was just absolutely no windows. Why no windows and doors? Because it was, it was just in the middle of the building. And so, at the time, I think before I had, I had been there, it had been, like, a kitchen type thing. And there wasn't really a need. Now, there was a window technically in the front of the building. But that room wasn't fully considered part of my apartment until later on. Upstairs. So, it was just, um, it was a flat roof building. There were, it, it was just one floor. So, unfortunately, all the water collected over top of my apartment. And one day I came home and the ceiling had collapsed in. Yeah. It is tis the issue with flat roofs. Yeah, they fucking suck. Um, I would never, ever, ever buy a house that has a flat roof. Not ever. Yeah, so that was fun. So then I was technically homeless. I lived with... I lived with Brian and his roommates somewhat. I know, because my pa is a roofer. Best part is, is my dad couldn't even fix it. Great stuff. Yeah, but it seemed like a basement. I think we always joke that it was a... I always joke that it was like a cave dungeon. Oh, ooh. That's... Most older buildings have flat roofs, and I do not know why. I do not know why. All right, we've been here a minute. So I think it's time. I had, I delved way too, way too far. Maybe cheaper? I mean, probably not, because a lot of it's still the same materials. I guess other than the fact that, like, you would have to build an arch, maybe, or, uh, you know, an A-frame of some sort. And it still has to be slanted to some degree because technically the water still needs to run off of it. So it still has to be slanted to some degree. The maintenance on them suck. Yeah, it's it's fuck all. I was going to do something. And I forget what it was. I was I was going to say. It's gonna be LDLC, but they never made it! 
truly. Oh, I cannot remember what I was going to say. Okay, anyway, see you all in 30 minutes.
It's like my Uncle Kagi once said, with great power come great big booty bitches. I think, okay, am I back? Am I back? Sheesh! We got 16 pages? Let's go. I reset my mic. I reset my USB stuff. Uh, I ordered a new webcam. I ate my putzer. And now... Oh, there's an echo? Why is there an echo? There shouldn't be an echo. Is there an echo? I think it's time for an Oh, I dropped my headset. Okay, you don't hear an echo? Okay. I dropped my headset the other day. And now the power button doesn't really do what it needs to do. Oh, it's only in one ear? <laughs> okay, um, hmm. Cool. <laughs> How about now? How about now? That's better? Am I in both ears? Am I in your earballs? Am I in all the ears? Damn, that's what I get for resetting that shit. Got him! I'm in both of your balls! It's okay, you're talking <laughs> to my good ear. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I ordered a second webcam. One, because I feel like it would be handy one times when I'm like doing things, you know, when I do more lube tube. We do keyboard stuff, but also if I ever want to stream for my computer upstairs, but also when we want to look at cats. Hi, Bell. Oh, you have me on two different tabs. I was like, I if there's an if there's an echo, I don't know what to do about it. So always, yeah. I had to order some merchy merch. Will you order in? Can I help you? What? What are you doing? <laughs> you don't know? Just hanging around. Oh my. All kinds of stuff. Stop. So, I bought this keyboard a while back. Because I'm making a Mountain Dew themed keyboard. Never bought merch before, but I love your merch. Look, thanks. I, I always say that I wanted merch that people... They didn't look like merch merch. It looks like things that you would want to wear, maybe. You know? Or things that I would wear. So I got this keyboard. It's an acrylic custom keyboard. And so, I got this. You have to put it together, though. I did check to make sure that the PCB board works. It does. It is a hot swappable board as well. But I have to put it all together. Peeling this stuff off is satisfying, but also not satisfying. Because there's paper on it to protect it. But it's very hard to get off. It's more stubborn than I was anticipating. But this is for my Mountain Dew keyboard. For those who don't know, Mountain Dew sent me keycaps once upon a time. They sent me these keycaps that spell out Mountain Dew, and then it also has a Mountain Dew um, logo on it. <laughs> oh my god. Help. Help! <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, so they sent me these just just like a little keycap set, not a ton of them. Yeah, we got Snorlax! We got Gus back here, and we got Snorlax, and we got Pete, and we got Edgar Allan Crow over here. You can see his eyeball, Edgar Allan Crow. Uh, Dejin actually got me Snorlax when I went to TwitchCon in Paris. Dejin was there and surprised me with a Snorlax. That's a possum! It's Pete the possum! I gave him a little hat. But that's Pete. Fucking love crows, aren't they the best? Hi, Saruji! That's how you gotta scream it. Pete the possum! That's Pete the possum! Yeah, that's where our emotes come from. Our Pete the possum emotes. We got Gus the ghost. Gus is our big one. That's... <laughs> I was like, where are you coming? P Possum says, okay, so anyone who doesn't know, last night we had movie night in the Discord. We watched Cabin in the Woods. And then afterwards, Amazon was like, I have a movie that you should watch. Why are my, I'm just so dry today. Just ignore me. Also, I'm pretty sure that's like where all this stuff is coming from. It was scary. It was, it, I, it's been so long since I've seen it and I forgot that it is kind of ooky spooky. I think Mariah was the most surprised out of everyone. <laughs> so, Amazon said, you should watch this movie called Possum. And I was like, oh my god, that sounds cool. I love, I'd love to watch a horror movie called Possum. However, uh, arachnophobia here for a second. Just a warning for arachnophobia. This is the cover. This is the movie cover. So then I was like, well, now I'm confused. And then I looked it up and it's a movie about puppets. Yeah, I am I mean, this is giving me a lot more context now, though, I will say. But why is it called Possum? Oh, right, I'm even more confused. We're all confused, honestly. Uh, fun fact, so when, you can mute my whole Discord server, right? Like, it, I understand that Discord is a lot, um, but if you are interested in watching the movie nights in Discord, when you put that you are interested in the event, it should alert you when the event is happening and when it's starting. Like, on your, on your smart device, if you have Discord on your smart device. So it's got to be a sacrifice. place. I don't know. It looks too scary for me. Although this I feel like would be a fabulous DVD killer. I'm intrigued now. Such a noob to Discord. To be fair, I've been using Discord for years and it's still confusing. It's a very overwhelming sight, honestly platform, app, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's very confusing. But anyway, I'm trying to peel all this shit off. That's where we're at. I'm gonna build this and that's... Well, I'm not gonna build it. I'm gonna just peel off this stuff. I think, how long have I been here? Oh, it's only been three hours. Changes a lot, adds a lot. Yeah. I think I use it in the most simple terms as possible, honestly. It's like I can post things, and I can reply to things, and I can join a voice chat. And that's pretty much the extent of that. That's where we're at with that. Also, the queer fantasy book that Shay's reading is Till Death Do Us Bard. That, I know, uh, I can't remember who asked what it was. 
but I bought it. Uh, I share my Audible with Shay. <laughs> it's our Audible. And I got Till Death Do Us Bard for Shay, basically. To basically be like, Shay, look what look what's on Audible. Hi, Vanquish! You know, sometimes, but most of the time, I don't. I am very big into my Discord, and there's a few others that I'm really into. It's just like, when you're in a lot of communities, it can be kind of really hard to keep up with. And that's when those, like, you mute certain channels. Like, you really have to go in and kind of customize your experience within each community. And basically put, like, I don't really want to see... I don't really want to see notifications from like this channel, this channel, this channel, but I do like the bookish ones. It's like, yeah, I would love to get notifications when someone posts and, like the bookish channel and like things like that. Listen, if you're not saying hi with enthusiasm, why bother? Sometimes I try to say hi to all of you, but sometimes I miss names or I think that I've already said hi when I haven't. I'm only active in like three, maybe. Yeah, I mute a lot of discords, but I will, um, I'll put like notifications for certain channels within their discord. Jump into a convo and don't greet people. Yeah, I do that sometimes too. <gasps> Tempa! Hi, Tempa! How are you? When's our next Lego stream? When are we going to be graced by the great Thimpa again? Shay! How did you start the book? What is it? What? How's it? How's it starting so far? Still have a few more items to make. Oh no! Are you? Do, are you like stressed about finishing them, Amethyst? <gasps> oh no! Oh, them, them. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Who? Who is going to hang out with me? Who am I going to hang out with while they do Lego stuff? I like that it still has a plot even though it starts cozy. I got it because um, it seemed like a cozy fantasy. And I was like, Shay might like this, but she won't read it unless I already have it. Wow, look at this. If I tell Shay about it, she won't get it. But if I just get it and pretend like it was there the whole time, then she'll read it. Nope, if they don't get done, it doesn't go with me. Oh, I see, I see. So it's kind of just like, not stressed about it. We'll do what we do. We'll be able to see that. But I know, it's even like brighter. And I sit, I'm actually, I sit in the dark. When I stream, I am literally in the dark. So this is in the dark. Let me get a light. Let me get a light here. One moment. Roasted taters sounds like you were roasting like a cat named taters. Is this? Yeah, this is for the Mountain Dew keyboard. I didn't build it yet. No, I have the stuff, but I haven't built it. I haven't had time or the patience. I want to make a video on it is the problem. That's the problem. I am still reading it. I haven't been reading it today, though. It's just there, but I am. I am reading it. It's it's more than 10 pages, Gavin. It is a hundred and forty six and it's got small writing. OK. It's also creaky. Got a new shelf for my. Yeah, it's just a lot. I <laughs> love that I'm just with this light just all up in my face right now. Anyway, 
But yeah, I'm say I'm excited to put it together eventually. At some point, one day, one day. Look, like look at it coming together slowly. <laughs> oh wait, am I dead? Am I dead? Hello? It says I'm still here. It says I have nothing that tells me I'm dead. Retreat bot is gone. Oh, are, are we still live on YouTube? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Yes, yes, okay. I don't know. I didn't see a die either, so that's I'm also I don't know, it looked fine on my end. I don't know what happened. I do wonder, y'all. Quick question. Since we're talking about keyboards. Should I get this keyboard? This oh shit. Should I get this one handed keyboard? For left hand. We oh, use it for for games, for gaming. So, so originally I wanted to get this for Lost Ark, because if anyone who's ever played any type of big MMO like that, there's just a lot of keyboard buttons that you have to press. Um, it is sixty nine dollars. But. Um, there's, like, Helldivers and a few other games looks like, like, it has a bunch of other buttons and basically you end up having to use the whole keyboard. But I like the idea of it having, like, this rounded part so you don't have to, like, reach across. Even Boulder's Gate has a lot of, like, keyboard options to use. Where instead of having to have, like, a whole, you have to use the whole thing, I use my mouse for a lot. The problem is that my mouse just can't fit as many buttons as I want, or that would be useful enough. So I'm like, I could use something like this. Looks like the head of a penis. Uh, can you build one of those instead? It, I could not. I do not have the ability to solder a board or to even create a whole board. If I could find one that was like, if it was a board, that'd be different. But I can't build a board. I, I talk about this literally all the time. So we'd rebind keys, yeah, to, to put on one of these, yeah. I could, I could customize the keys. But here's what I like about it is that, like, so it would fit around your hand so that you don't have to, like, put your hand all the way across the keyboard. You just raise your fingers up. Build a board like Build a Bear. I w I mean, you can you can build a board. I just don't have the soldering te technology, or or uh knowledge. I want to go to, oh yeah, it'd be cool to have a store where it's like, all right, here are the layouts, here are the frames that you can get, also the types of frames, because the type of frame also makes a difference. Do you want like an aluminum frame or do you want like a plastic frame? Do you want an acrylic frame, you know, kind of deal? Do you want metal in the bottom so it's heavier on the bottom? What kind of substrate in the bottom do you want? Do you want it to be thawky th or do you want it to be clicky? Here's the different options. And then you get through and yeah. Yeah, it could be used for editing, absolutely. Put it in my wish list. 
I don't trust I don't trust it. What is thaki? It's the sound. Like the type of sound that you get. So there's clicky and then thaki is like a like a thicker a thicker click. Creamy, clicky and thaki. Yes. Thaki is thick. Okay, so the idea is that I wouldn't have to put my hands all the way across the keyboard. Especially when it would come to, like, Lost Ark, MMOs, those types of deals. Because then you have these little side buttons that you can also do as keyboards. Or as keybinds. I would love the look of it. I would take some acetone to it to get rid of some of these things. I feel a little thocky today. Clicky, clunky, and clunky. I don't like those. <laughs> I don't like those at all. Y'all just making up words. <laughs> it's like silent and flat keys. I don't know if anyone in the keyboard community would 100% know. They'd be like, no, it's Saki. <laughs> you can't use this. <laughs> Put it on my wish list? No, Gavin. No. Don't first of all, I don't I don't want anyone to do that. I want anyone to do that. I have so little, such little amount of things on my wish list all the time. I've thrown I would probably just put this one on my Amazon one. I don't know if I have a link to my Amazon wish list. And I try not to put anything that's like over a certain amount. Yeah. <laughs> you ring god killer. I don't know if I've heard of anyone talk about silent keys before. Can you change font and line spacing? I don't think so. I don't think they give you any type of spacing options. Like any, especially any custom. Tactile? No, tactile is a type of switch. It's not the type of sound, it's the type of switch. A tactile switch has a bump in it. <laughs> There's more than three sounds. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what... I think it would just be, um, like, a uh, oh my god, why can't I think? Like, creamy would probably be a little bit better. Oh, there's silent switches, but I don't know if anyone's ever talked about, like, the sound of a board being silent, so to say. But I might be wrong. Or it's actually ducks and they all quack. I love that. Can't change between three fonts and you can toggle small text. Yeah. Silent would be like a touch screen, that's fair. I was gonna say, cause like technically they all make some degree of sound. Even your um, low profile, I would say the s most silent keyboard you can get is a low profile, which is kind of like a Mac keyboard essentially. They're not particularly great for like gamers and whatnot. Um, but that would probably be the, the most quiet you can get, but to some degree they all have, or like, but yeah, a touch screen would probably be. <laughs> like a, I don't even know, what would that be? Oh, each bullet point. Yeah, I don't think there's a way, which is unfortunate because I'm big on spacing. Like, spacing can ruin... can ruin something. Silent? I think silent would be. I think it's just, like, um... I don't think there is a good way to get there, necessarily. At least not yet. Low pro profile is making its way. There's just something about, um, I've watched it before. There's something about the way that you do low profile. Because if you, if you type up low profile gaming keyboards, it's a thing. 
but there's a reason why they're not very popular in the gaming sphere and I don't I don't remember why off the top of my head but there definitely are low profile keyboards out there for gamers Razer even has one silent membrane switches It would probably be described as having a creamy sound. So, yeah, they, they definitely have them. They got stuck a lot, yeah. Notion is I, I feel like Notion has a long way to come in custom custom ability custom ability uh, custom abilities I wonder if you type in silent keyboard whisper quiet keyboard is what came up Oh my god, wait, I do have to show you. So Drop is one of my favorite keyboard places to buy from. Um, it Drop shipping is very big in the keyboard thing where it's like uh, they'll list something and then you basically like pre-order it. And then it doesn't ship until like a certain date type of deal. It's pretty big in the keyboard community. Drop has some of my favorites. They're the ones that I did. I got the Lord of the Rings keyboard from. But they have new keycaps. I need to show you these keycaps. I've seen them at a few, like, suspicious sites. Everyone, please buy my, <laughs> my creamy keyboard. Where are these keycaps? Did they sell out already? Were they not on drop? I could have sworn they were on drop. Hang on. I could have sworn they were. Okay, well, I don't know where they are. Uh, here is a... Here they are on Etsy. Here's a Etsy store that I don't know... I don't know 100% if these are the most legit, but I need you all to see these. They're super cute. Ooh, ooh. They're so super cute. Perfect. Um, I think they have a few color. I've seen them. I know Drop had them in a few different color waves. Yeah, so there's like the Siamese looking cats as well. And then I thought there was a few different ones. <laughs> you know, cute, right? Like they have, they had no right to make them cat shaped. They better meow. I mean, you could probably program them to meow. I know, like, I use uh, Opera browser for a lot of things, and you can actually change the sound of when you type to something within the within the browser. All right, we're going to do one more. Realize I need mine to light up. Oh. I have, mine is backlit, but... I don't use any type of keycaps that are like, they, they're not really see-through. Also, the direction of the RGB can be important. Twi I, yeah, I actually, Gov, the only reason I use Chrome is for Twitch because Twitch does not work fantastic on Opera. There's also a massive delay.
ever work with multimedia shortcuts? Yeah. Well, that's when I built Brian one, he needed uh, a 100% keyboard. I have a preference for a, I think 75. Hang on. Yeah, 75 is kind of my preference. Maybe even more of like an 80. 80% keyboard is probably more my preference. Yeah, 80. But so convoluted to get pro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love Chrome. I switched to Opera because I do like a, a little bit more of it better in the long run, but I still have to use Twitch on Chrome. It's the only thing that I have found Twitch to work the best on, honestly. Only use Chrome? I, I used to only use Chrome and then everyone came at me all the time. They were like, how dare you? Why would you do this? Yeah, they're very similar, honestly. I don't like Firefox. I haven't gone back to Firefox in, oh my god, 10 years, if not more. I have Opera GX in, there's always a delay. There's a good, like, 5 to 10 second delay, if not more. Sometimes I'll have, like, a full minute delay on Twitch with Opera. Yeah. It's not like you're using Internet Explorer. I mean, Internet Explorer, like, doesn't even exist anymore. What, what do they call it now? Edge? They're so edgy. No, Gumi, no! Mostly a VOD watcher? Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, for the most part, I don't mind it. At work, I only use Opera. But when it comes to, like, being home, I just, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. Sure. I have seen that. I looked up a lot of alternatives, um, but unfortunately, I am just too ingrained at this point to, ru to, to even <laughs> attempt to run anything else. At this point, I'm like, I'm. This is what I got going for me. All right, friends. Last sprint for me today. So I will see you all in 30 minutes.
What if I sploosh you in the face? What if I sploosh you in the face? This isn't even a sugar ball. I miss my sugar ball. I don't know where my sugar ball went. I'm gonna sploosh you in the face with this. I do like these ones a lot though. Cause they have like the little, the little like Orbeez in them. And I like them a lot with the little Orbeez in them. Also, tidal waves, hello! What is sploosh in the face? Yeah, I'm just gonna sploosh you in the face with this. Like, look at these little... Look at these. Look at these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! For Splugin! I like Splugin. Splugin's good. <laughs> oh, Shay. I got this from Five Below. It's a... Play-Doh Cloud Slime. And it's so good. 
It's so good. Uh, oh, look, I can actually get it out because my nails aren't 10 inches long. Oh! It's so good. Bacon cookies? Oh my god, I love that. What kind of cookies? Is it a specific kind? It's giving... Yeah, it's so nice. The only problem is, and I said this before... I've said this before, the only thing is, is that, you know, you be, you do this, right? You just be doing this, like a normal thing that you do with slime. And this color is suspicious. <laughs> it's... It's a suspicious color. This is literally Play-Doh, just cloud slime. It comes in other colors, but I thought this one was gonna be like more orange, super cloud. Uh, you know, affiliate PP, here it is. This is the affiliate PP. This is the content. Anyway, yes, my favorite books, if we were villains. Also, God killer. Also, um, the way I used to be. Also, oh, this is uh, the Invisible Life of Addie Larue. Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk. Um, what's, what would be like my favorite horror? F uh, the last final. I think it's the last. The last final girl by Stephen Graham Jones. Don't be stretching real. If we were villains, once upon a time was my... That's what I was known for. I was known for getting the internet on the hype of if we were villains, but then TikTok found it. And now I can't claim it anymore. This is nice. This is nice. This is, this is nice. She likes Shakespearean thrillers. <laughs> oh, TikTok. Was this the pink or orange? I don't even know. This is, it looks like orange. This is the color I thought I was getting. This is the color I got. <laughs> It has a kind of a funky smell to it. Not, it's not like a bad smell. It's just like not quite the smell that I love. It gets, it does get flaccid. Oh my god! <laughs> no, Corporate would like you to spot the difference between these. Two. Can you spot it? Anyway, yeah. So yeah, I keep doing this though. And it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't seem to matter. It just turns out suspicious looking. Every time. But it's really good. It's a really good side. It doesn't stick to your hands. It's not like overly wet. I hate that. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yep, not overly wet. <laughs> I suddenly can't remember any of my favorite books. I love, um, if we're talking graphic novels, Saga, I Hate Fairyland. Um, I loved Lumberjanes way back when. Hold on, we gotta go to the story graph now. Hold on, I'm doing it. Story graph. 
it's, uh, I <laughs> won't get the orange color. No, yeah, don't do that. They do have other colors. I just thought I was gonna get orange, you know? And then I didn't. Wait, am I not signed in on StoryGraph? Oh, I am. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because, yeah, it's like, what's, you know, what's not to love, honestly? Okay, let's talk about some of my favorite. What Moves the Dead? Great. Diviners. The God of Endings. Loved it. Another one that T didn't like, but I did. Oh, wow, we're throwing it way back. We're throwing it way back here. Um, okay, maybe let's not throw it way back. Oh my god, these are like high school favorites. Oh, I love the Mysteries of Pittsburgh. That's a good one. Stranger, Albert, Camus. Three more pieces, go, let's go! It's so good. I read um the second one. I can't think of what it's called. I like the, the idea of the second one more, but I I hate the way T. Kingfisher writes the most naive pro protagonists of all time. I'm just like, why are they so dumb? <laughs> wow, I was like, none of my recent faves on this list? Where did this list come from? These are all from like 10 years ago. Maybe Goodreads is better. Is Goodreads a better choice here? Wait, are the are they coming out with an Uglies movie? Fucking hell, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa! Free bird, welcome in! Welcome in, Raiders! How's co-working going? It's going. It's a going. I have no clue who that is. Not a clue in the world. How was I mean, were you guys doing sprints? How did they go? How, what did, what were you reading? Were you doing a fun project? Oh, Catherine House. Oh my god, I love oh, Catherine oh, House. Oh, the Last Final Girl, 10 out of 10. Horror novella, The Atrocities. I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. Fucking loved it, though. Uh, Roses and Rock. Cat Howard is one of my all-time favorite writers, by the way. Oh, The Scourge Between Stars. I read this last year. If you like space horror, especially like Dead Space. The Scourge Between Stars. Good shit. I love Dark Harvest. I haven't seen the movie just yet um sour candy is also a great horror novella I, brian actually read it what would you rate sour candy Seven, an, an 8.7 what is this rating system Four point eight stars out of five. <laughs> okay. Four point three. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Do an audiobook. Oh, I love that. Speeding it up. You got it. You got to get. You know. Tempest. Are you enjoying Tempest of Tea? It's on my list to read at some point this year. All the Missing Girls. Love that one. Lincoln and the Bardo. So, okay. I know that this was one of those ones that it was like the literary, the literary bros were reading. But honestly, so good. So fucking good. Lincoln and the Bardo is about Abraham Lincoln. But it is about the ghosts around his so his son Willie dies if anyone doesn't know uh linker link <laughs> linker abraham lincoln's had children and his son Willie died quite young 
And it was said that Lincoln would go and visit him all the time. And this is from the point of view of the ghosts in the cemetery. Like, as Lincoln comes and visits Willie and about Willie, and it's so fucking good. It's also hilarious. The, the audiobook is really good, yes. Uh, la 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 la. Alex e. Haro is another one of my favorites. Love Alex e. Haro. Oh, Mayfly! How could I forget Mayfly so quickly? So many goodies. So many. You know what? I need to reread Full Tilt. So many goodies. Anyway, God Killer is my current one that if you haven't read, read it. Oh, I do love Trail of Lightning. The Trail of Lightning and then the second book have come out and I swear Rebecca Roanhorse has given up on this series and I'm so sad about it because this world is so fucking good. But I don't... I think Rebecca started working on Black Sun, right? Yeah, Black Sun, and then kind of, like, abandoned the Sixth World series. I'm very sad about it, because it's so good. Oh my god, yes, read God Killer. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Anyway. Anyway, what else we got? Oh, Ring Shot's good. I love Emily Henry for contemporary stuff. Maybe one day. I also, the trail, I haven't even read Black Sun, but it's like the Trail of Lightning series was so good that I'm just kind of sad that they just haven't continued it. That it's kind of made me bitter about it. Oh, I recently requested a review copy of P. Jelly Clark's newest book coming out this year because for those who don't know I love P. Jelly Clark uh, Black God's Drums and Ring Shout are some of my favorites but they have The Dead Cat Tail Assassins is coming out this year and I requested a review copy so we'll see if I get it I technically have the E arc of it already but like I need more. I, I can't ever remember my E arcs, honestly. Sounded like banjo? Cause I have no clue. This is nostalgic and relaxing video game music for your mind studying sleep and work and guarantee. I keep, just keep trying to find something that won't get us blocked on YouTube and it doesn't seem to matter what I do. So at this point it's like, I don't know. Like maybe if I use game music, it will be like, oh, she's just a gamer. My can just made a very weird noise. I'm not gonna lie. I did technically, I didn't plan on doing another sprint, but we got a raid. So now I feel like we have to do at least one more sprint. My issue isn't with Twitch. My issue is with YouTube. I can get away with a lot on Twitch. I also route my music so that the music doesn't appear in my VODs on Twitch. You can't reroute it on YouTube. And I'm constantly getting effed over by YouTube. One more sprint! One more sprint! All right, I guess I'll do one more sprint. Done everything but clean my. I believe in you. I believe in nothing called love. Yeah, I have noticed the Spirit City because I know I was trying to use that because I figured it would get by, but um, I'm assuming that Spirit City isn't using their own music. I'm assuming that they have bought their rights to something, but that that music is getting copyrighted within VODs, which is unfortunate. 
Yeah, we had, I noticed yesterday, my VOD from yesterday was muted. And it was weird because it was muted when we, when we were quiet. And the only thing I had playing yesterday or on Friday was a fireplace. And it muted certain sections of the fireplace. I don't get it. I don't get it. I think this sprint, I'm gonna play a little to the left. And we're gonna put it here. Uh, go get rid of the window capture and we'll do a game capture instead. Fireplace be spitting bars. Universal Studio owns that fireplace ambience, I'll have you know. <laughs> I mean, probably. <gasps> oh, I hate when that happens. It's so weird, like, what gets muted and what doesn't. I feel like they should let you play what you want in the moment. <gasps> do it, Shay! Do it! And then message me every after every page. Message me after literally every page. Do it. You won't. You won't do it. Do it. All right, I'm launching a little to the left. That's what I'll do this sprint. Yeah, Discord me. <laughs> who, who says Discord me? <laughs> who would say such a thing? Why? Here we are. Yeah, we're doing this is our last sprint. I swear this is the last sprint. Okay, this is the last one. Hang on. I would like to capture a little to the left, please. Um One moment Did that work? There we go Just a little no, no, we're not doing no one. No one start the 24 hour sprint rumor. Don't start it. <laughs> Five more later. No, literally every time. <sighs> what's it? What's what now? What's what? That used to be a live tweet. What's it now? I don't know. Nope, nope. No, not 48. Mm -mm. No, you know, I'm muting you all. You're all muted. You know what? Fuck off. <laughs> You're all getting fucked off. Where did my game go? I don't know where the game went. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, bye. All you, all you heathens. You're all heathens. 69, no!
can't figure out this one. God damn it. How everyone do? How'd y'all do? I hope everyone did amazing. I want a cookie. Book massage. I feel slightly brain farty because when I read that, I initially pictured you giving a book a massage. I was like, you know, that's a choice. Of course, we have an ad now. But it's the end of stream. So did not let yum. The softest books, truly. There are such relaxed books. So win for me. There we go. Can you move the la lamp around more? I don't think so. Hang on. Hang on. Well, you know what? Well, let's just finish. We're already here. We might as well finish it, you know? We might as well try to finish this one. For those who don't know what a little to the left is. It's a super cozy, just like puzzle game kind of deal. So I don't think so. This is all the further I can move the lamp. So I'm moving the lamp and it shows me this technology and I'm assuming I have to get the heart to match the heart here. 24, no! No, we're not doing any more sprints. This is it. I, it doesn't... Normally, I fl kind of fly through these, to be honest. The only thing is, is I feel like there should be another one here, but there's nothing there. To, like, work for that. You know? Unless I'm supposed to do everything but the heart. So, like, right now I have the heart, and it would basically be like, I need to do everything else. But I don't think that's it either. You know? Just one. The one on top of that one instead? I tried all the bottom ones. I tried a few different variations. So... Hang on. Right, so there we got a perfect heart, right? We got a perfect little heart. If I do this one, it's like weirdly off to the side, right? If I do this one, it's also weirdly off to the side. If I do this one, it's super off to the side. If I do these, they are also weirdly off to the side. If I do this one on top, it's weird. I do this one on the bottom, it's weird. If I just do all of them, still weird. If I do the fan, weird. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Pariah. I was trying a combination of them, but I wasn't trying them alone. <laughs> that was my mistake all along, clearly. <gasps> Hi, kitty. Hi, baby. Wait, was that the last one?
Did I just unknowingly defeat the game on stream? Other than whatever the fuck we're supposed to be doing here? Oh, I pet you! I pet you! Oh. Do I gotta do it when it's blue? Oh, there we go. Hold up to DLC. The only reason I even have this is because it's, um... On Game Pass right now. That's the only reason I currently am playing it. Oh shit, sorry. Too early. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't get to see the circle in real life. In real life, you just get bit. Apparently, you can use Xbox Game Pass. It is separate. Yeah, I have. I only have the PC Game Pass. It's uh, $9.99 a month? That's what I have currently. Castle full of cats? I think so. I think I might have it. Or I have something close to it. Yeah, how many levels do we got? Oh, uh, we got a ton- Oh, wait, hang on, never mind. One moment. Stand up. Hi, Carnem! I will lose the chair in a minute because stream's over. <laughs> There's multiple solutions. I do know that. Oh, multiple in the series of uh, Castle Full of Cats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do know there's multiple solutions to some of them. Some of them I've done and some of them I've just been like, fuck it. I'll come back later. I do like they do a daily puzzle too. Which is kind of fun. So I only have three. Should I just finish these three real quick? I mean, I might as well, right? Oh. Okay. What the f what am I supposed to do here? Oh, it's like I don't I can't currently move anything, but there we go. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I just love that this is like a play on all the levels that we've already- well, all the levels that I've already done. Oh, I- I hate this! Oh, I hate it! Why can't I put this back in the middle? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Am I supposed to put these in the middle? Of my eggies? Some of the sound effects are not ideal. Oh, this one, this one kind of fucked me up. I'm not gonna lie. This one fucked me up on the level that I did it. <laughs> I 
And I can't remember. Should I match them? Should I just match them all? Or should I do how the level was and that? Oh yeah, apparently I just need to match them all. Eggs and strawberries. I don't mind eggs and strawberries, but like... This one needs turned around. This one needs turned around. I don't care for the my favorite <gasps> bye Gumi! My favorite ones are the ones where you're literally just putting things away. That's my favorite one. Those are my favorite ones to do. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, look at these guys! They're so cute! Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Oh. Are you the only one that opens? Two. Four. Six. Eight. Who do we appreciate? Yeah, the shelves ones are my favorite. Some of them I was like, I could do without the- Oh, son of a... Biscuit here. Um, okay. These ones go... Here. And Michel Rossi goes here. And these go down here. What? What? Meemaw? We do appreciate a meemaw. Is this a whole new- a whole new world? I want to- can I like move this out of the way? I want to move this one out of the way. Oh. Just do it underneath. No. This one, then this one, then this one. Ooh! Okay. Now these all look the same. What? I'm assuming we would start over. Except for I can't. Oh, my light's turned off! They said, oh, and then, oh, oh, I see now. Do you believe in love after love? Dead or dead to side yourself. I really don't think you're strong enough. Wow. Do you believe in love after love? Oh. Okay, throw me for a loop there a little bit. <gasps> Ooh, we're making lunch! Who put this crumb here? I love me some good tomato. I'm sure that these like go like this. Uh, the sandwich? Half a sandwich here. Some asparagus. Yeah, I love asparagus. I do be loving me some asparagus. Ooh, let's get rid of the crumbs. We don't need no crumbs. Some olives. I'm thinking the tomatoes go maybe like here. And like that goes there and that goes there. Wrong. Do these go here? Do my sandwich go up here? The crumbs go with the- Oh! I thought they were gone. Not gonna lie, I thought they were gone. I thought I- I thought I got rid of them. Whoa! Where y'all going? 
Oh, shit. I was gonna say none of them worked. <gasps> Hi, kitty. How do I do this? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is fun. No, I need a tiny one. Does this not work? Is this not right? Is this not right? What am I supposed to do? Does it have to like match? Am I dumb? Oh, that one. Well, I like this one. I like this one too. These are nice. See? That's nice. Oh, nope. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm confused, chat. What do I say? Oh, do I need to make stairs? I don't know. But how? Oh, it just has to be. It just gotta be level? Is that it? Or now do I need to make me some stairs? Oh my goodness. Too, too confusing, honestly. Yeah, I love with the same color. Yeah. That was a. Uh, that took too long to figure out. Excuse me, I need tall. I need tall ones, please. Unless I can do this. If I can do that, that would be great. Oh, there's a tall one. <gasps> nope, come back! You come back! Oh, here's a tall one. Yes, I know. I know you don't like this. There. What now? I need a short pink one. And then what? Oh, and then behind the kitty. I don't think any, I think I need the same color. I do like the sounds. Hmm, all right. <laughs> one short pink one. No. Yellow? Gray? Mayhaps? Or do I gotta, oh wait, do I gotta just do it on top? I'm silly sometimes. I think I'm like overthinking it is the problem. So I just need a short gray one. Or tall gray one that I can just- Oh, wait. There we go. I get it now. Now that I get it, I get it. It's making a lot more sense now. What if I do this? Oh, 
was too tall. Let's go, kitty! Mmm, Misho Kitty! How ha! Can you take me high to a place where get on up there? <laughs> I don't know how long I gotta keep going. I feel like the higher I can make it, the better. So if I can just do... Like a bunch of these to make it a real tall. I need one more short pink one. Big jumps. Big jumperoonies. Ooh, that's a good one. What if I just keep adding? I'll be like, actually, we are going... All the way up here. Keep going. so cute is this was i think this was the last one right or this is something is and then these were the constellations i did earlier i think that's it Wow, it feels so smart. Oh, I think now it's taking me to the levels that... Yep. It's it's taking me back to the levels that... Okay, so when you get... When you put your little... Cursor over them, the stars mean that there's multiple ways to solve them. So some of them I've done all the ways to solve them, and some of them I have not. So, I think it's taking me back to some of those ones, maybe, perhaps. Anyway, that's it. That's it for me. Glad I could pretty much finish the game at that point. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Maybe I should replay. Oh my god, I got so many achievements. I should play. Um, <laughs> look at this hair. <laughs> oh my god. Killing it. My lights turned off, so now we're really, really, really in the dark. Thanks for hanging out, friends. Let me see. YouTube, I'm so sorry. I got I got nowhere I can send you because YouTube does not give me that ability in a nice fun manner. If you all would like to continue with the Sprinty Sprues, Mick is current. Wait, Mick might be. I wonder how Mick's also been on a hot minute though. I feel like Mick might be ending soon. Maybe? Perhaps? Oh no, it looks like at least one more. Okay, we're gonna go Ray Mick. At least one more Sprinty Sprue. <gasps> Even the music? I this is some upbeat music and it feels really nice. It's a nice it's a nice nice good time. Thanks for hanging out, friends. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go raid Mick here on on um uh, on Twitch. One of our fellow community members. 
So that's where we're gonna go. Good cozy times. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. I'll be back Tuesday. Okay. For real this time, this Tuesday, DVD on Twitch, cosplay stream this week. Also, I believe Shay is streaming tonight. Make sure you go check out Shay, my bestie. So make sure you go, make sure you go check out Shay. All right, friends. I will see, see you all when I see you all. Hey, it helps if I start the raid, actually. It helps if I start it. I didn't even start it. Don't ask me what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, we'll go here. Next week, there's a, someone else I would like to, I would like to raid. At some point. Next week. Okay, I'll see you all then! I'll see you all then! Okay! You're amazing, you're fantastic, you guys did so well today! I'm so proud of all the things that you accomplished today! You're great, you're fantastic! I'll see you all later. <gasps> Bye!